Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day 14 of Hollow's Fest, where I will be uh, playing through horror themed games throughout the month of October while raising money for charity at expense of me eating beans and bugs on stream. So, uh, essentially, uh, I don't even know if I even have my sound alerts on. Let me see. Sound files is on. So they should work. I don't know why they're not working for you, but hello, Twisted. And everyone else that happens to be joining on in, I hope that you guys enjoy uh, tonight's stream. Uh, last we left off, we have completed Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> for as short as that was. Uh, that's because I made it short. And, um... Tonight is the real meat for this event, because I have never played this game before. Well, I did, but I didn't get far into it, so I never completed this game before, is what I should say. Um, this game that I'm referring to is Until Dawn for the PlayStation 4. And I have a feeling this is going to be the real meat of it, because I've never played, uh, I've never played and completed this game, so I don't know how many days it's going to take me to complete this game. But we're in for it. We are in for it. Um, so, that being said, um, we are at $119 owed to charity. And we are at 224 tokens out of the 300. Now, I did mention that when we reach 300, I have three more bugs to eat on stream. Tonight should be a big help because... <laughs> Before I started stream tonight, I noticed that my follower count was at 666. And I said, well, what better way to do that than by increasing the stakes here? So, I will be doing, I will be handing out six freebies out of the usual one that I do every single night. So I'll be doing six freebies. And on top of that, whatever trick or treat being award is active whatever's on the bean wheel it is only left at time stream this is only in effect tonight keep that in mind it's only in effect in tonight so whatever bean i happen to land on it's only going to be three i have to eat three beans regardless so yes right off the bat i am going to be sitting here munching on 18 beans however uh since my throat is not doing 100 percent better uh, spicy beans is still out of the equation. Hello, babe. Welcome on in. So. Uh, spicy beans are still out of the equation because I'm still not feeling 100%. So, uh, that being said, if we happen to land on the spicy bean, uh, they will be converted to bean boozled. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So, only tonight, three beans. Three beans is only active on the board. Gotta do six freebies, though. So before we get into the main event of Hollow's Fest, um, let's go on ahead and open up the window capture. As you can see, I have only left three slices on there. Now, if we happen to land on the Fiery Five, like I said, those will be converted to being boozled instead. So... That being said, <laughs> I got six balls to draw, so let's go on ahead and draw them balls out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, that's six balls. All right, and all together, I have to spin the wheel. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to spin the wheel nine times. So let's see. 
128 right now. Let me go ahead and put this gamepad to the side. So $128. Hello, babe. Let's see. Save. Alrighty. So I gotta spin the wheel nine times. Seven. Eight, nine. Yeah, okay. So we'll start with this. Spin number one. All right, so like I said, those are going to be converted to being boozled. So. Tootie Fruity or Stinky Socks? Cappuccino or Liver and Onions? Another cappuccino or liver and onions. All right. Done. Spin the wheel twice. Okay. Bean boozled again. All right. Tootie Fruity or Stinky Socks? Man, is this Tootie Fruity or Stinky Socks night? Liver and onions. Man, I am out of that flavor already. Hmm. Cappuccino. Okay, I guess it's cappuccino or liver and onions. And Tootie Fruity kind of night. Okay, never mind. There's be peach and barf. Alrighty. Okay, so we're done with this ball. That's two. Spin number three. Please give me huggy wuggies. Ooh -woo. <laughs> All right, two thirty-three. I can. Uh, I will read the chat in a minute. So just give me a, a hot moment. Twenty for your stinky socks. I don't even. Think, okay, yeah, we have a couple left. Old bandage or pomegranate? Juicy pear or booger? Okay. Done. That's spin number three, so this is spin number four. Treat bean! So let me add that to the counter, 236. Might as well go ahead and leave this open, huh? For the time being. This is fine. Okay. I will leave this open for the time being. Alrighty. Done. Five. Bean boozled times three. Tootie Fruity, you're stinky. Jesus. Can we get a different flavor that isn't Tootie Fruity's or Stinky Socks, please? I guess not, because I just drew another one. Fucking Christ. Hmm. All right, very blue or toothpaste. Okay. All right, spin the wheel. We got three more after this. Three more spins after this. Treat bean times three. Two forty-two.
One, two, three. I believe uh, the sound effects are on cooldown. They have cooldown time, so you might want to give it a minute before you start uh, again on it. Okay. Two more spins after this. Bean Boozled times three. We are at 245. Birthday cake or dirty dish water. At least we're getting something different. Uh, we don't have... Oh, yeah, we do. Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Yum. Alrighty. Spin the wheel. We got two more times. So this we got one more after this. Cappuccino or liver and onions. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Juicy pear or booger. All right, guys, one more spin. The board don't lie, so. So 251. Alrighty. Peach or barf. Another peach or barf. Okay, cool. And peach or barf. What are the odds on that? Am I right? Do I even have another peach or barf on standby? Yes, I do, right here. Alrighty, guys. Those are the spins. No earwax flavor, thankfully. Alright. So. Those are, were the spins. I owe $128 to charity. And we are now at 251 out of 300 tokens. Alrighty. So. This bitch now has audio. Hi, babe. So, we are at 251 tokens out of 300. And I owe $128 to charity. So. So. From this point onward, whoever redeems Trick or Treat, like I said, three beans will automatically be added to the token counter. No, we are not doing spicy because my throat is still not 100%. So the majority of these beans are going to be bean boozled. And there's quite a bit of peach and barf in my uh, repertoire right now. Uh, liver, onions, or cappuccino, and uh, dinky socks and tutti frutti. Yum. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You got, I'm pretty sure a couple of you guys have been looking forward to this until dawn for the PlayStation 4. You're okay, you're okay. All right, let's go ahead and get started with these beans. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with liver and onions or cappuccino. That still catches me off guard, the liver and onions thing. But the liver and onion flavor is actually not that bad. If I do say so myself, it's not that bad. Okay, I just wanted to make sure the subtitles and the sidebar text is on. All right. Starting a new story will overwrite your current progress. Access to episode menu if unlocked. You will lose any collectibles found and any changes related to character status. Yes. Oh, 
Why now? That one came through. Again, if I need to adjust the game volume or any volume of any, please let me know. Please let me know, because I've noticed on a couple of X-Files uh, playback that there were some volumes I could have adjusted. So please let me know. I'm going to adjust it a little bit right now. So from this point onward, from this point onward, I'm going to have to rely on you guys to let me know how the volume is, okay? All right. So is this also going to be cappuccino or liver and onion? Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Did you guys think this is a little bit oh, Come on, she deserves it. Yet it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Interesting. Living on onions, by the way. Okay, cappuccino. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Hmm. Who else is knocked out over here? I know you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. All right, what do we got here? Jeremiah Cragg. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Cool, a network error incurred. I, I don't care. Start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Liver and onions. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's what? taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing uh, here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this is all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh, Use the right stick to choose. Ooh, find others or wake Josh. Uh, 
Damn it. Find it. Wake Josh. Four beans, we got barf or peach. You know, I think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, oh that's a little loud, don't you think? Uh, fast. Fuck it. We gotta go after Hannah. Glug, 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 ooh, caribou. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? No spoilers, please. No spoilers. Death totem. Okay, so the possible death of the person who finds it, a vision of guidance for future choice, the potential loss of a friend, the threat of a future danger, or a prophecy of good fortune. Even having friends this shitty, though? Imagine imagine having friends this shitty, though. Yeah, no kidding, right? Butterfly effect. Uh, we do have quite a bit to go through. Nineteen fifty-two, the mystery man. There's quite a bit to collect on this game, isn't there? Oh, hi, Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Oh, Hannah. Oh, my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. So dumb. Oh, we got the predator after us. Oh, well, there goes the phone.
I don't want let go. Oof. Fucking Christ. Yeesh. I think I'm going to have to turn off the sound files <laughs> so I can get a, uh, so, you know, I can uh, take in the atmosphere of this game. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Right. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. I don't like the way you... Jesus. Your facial features, the way you sound. I don't think I like you off the bat. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Hmm. I'm supposed to state how I feel about this. I mean, it's just a farm. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I mean, I feel a little uneasy, but not that uneasy. It's just a farm. Uh, probably the scarecrow. It is a very intimidating scarecrow. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. If the scarecrow was, yeah, sure. I mean, it, d it depends on how active the barn is. And what if I told you? If it was haunted? I mean, I've been told that there are plenty of things that are haunted. I've never been to any of them myself, per se. So I don't really have a rightful opinion for this. But let's say if I were in a situation where... It's just like, okay, you have to go to this place, but it's haunted. There's been rumors that this place is haunted. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'd be a little scared. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. Barf. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? I could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty please remember this is only a game well we seem to be out of time for this session but we'll talk again very soon okay bye dr hill see you again I would not want this guy to be my uh, psychiatrist.
If that if that is what he is supposed to be, a psychiatrist. Ooh, the song. I think this game was mo capped if I remember right, which is how much did that actor have to over accentuate his expression. Yeah! <laughs> I can tell this game was mo cap. Oh, yeah, no, this game has to be mo cap to pull off expressions like that. In a video game to begin with. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. <laughs> one year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andrew. You guys are going to have to clue me in on the actors and stuff because I'm not 100% sure about it. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what- Oh, that's all the bar from Peach. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with you. Now, from what I understand, there is a follow-up game that is called The Quarry, is that? Um, the sequel to this game, or is it a prequel of some sort? Like, or is it just a successor? Okay, so is it just trying to follow its successor? Party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. All right? Yes. Hi, GG. Would your dead sisters really want you to be friends with these people still? No, probably not. I'd probably cut ties as soon as I could. I had a chance. I mean, if, I mean, me and my siblings had a, um, a little bit of a rocky past, but if anything were to happen to them because of my so-called friends, I would cut ties from them immediately.
Yeah, that music is pretty fucking good. Sam, diligent, considerate, adventurous, and his best friend. Remember that thought. this the gates busted climb over Chris Aiden place Sam all right we're gonna be safe about this <coughs> what is that set that is one of the most annoying sound tickers in video game history, I gotta say. Is there a way I can get rid of that? Also, why the hell would you arrive here at night, especially after last year? Right? They be, they, these be some dumb teenagers. Dumb teenagers with weird hormones. Oh, hi, it's a squirrel. Hello, fella. Don't move. you're unsure of what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, hey. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies... Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Deaf black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger red butterflies warn of dangerous events. Brown, uh, brown butterflies for total tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. All right, so is this going to be uh, <coughs> stinky socks or tutti frutti? Yellow, huh? Hmm. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 at any time to view your totem collection. Hmm. Barely anything. Passes beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Chris, you here? So we can't unlock it. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's a bag. Bag, 
Eh, nah, it's none of our business. Let's just close the bag. Has a crush on Ashley. Chris, protective, humorous, methodical. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. Wanted poster. Graham Victor. Nice. Male six foot two. Wire in connection with a first degree arson offense. Ooh. Hmm. Guess we'll have to keep an eye out on that guy, I suppose. doing at the base of the ski lodge. Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you All right, looks like we get to take control of Chris. All right, here goes. Hmm. All right, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, it's a squirrel! Oh, we're totally not gonna shoot the squirrel. Fuck that! <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, right? Also, jumping back, I don't know if the quarry is directly related. I've played it thus far in case you were going to play it. Huh. I might play it. It depends on how well I feel about Until Dawn. Wait, thank you, thank you for what? For not shooting a squirrel? Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. People out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. For you. A oh, real gentleman. Hmm. of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. True. So Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain.
a security camera of some sort? That's not creepy at all. Stay here and catch some disease, but Ugh, stinky socks. So from what I understand there are multiple endings to this game. Depending on how many people you leave alive. Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car. Butterfly effect. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay, I'm liking where this game is uh, taking its butterfly effect. I'm I'm actually enjoying this. Hello, Jess. Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting. I thought that said irrelevant for a minute there, but ir. Irreverent? Irreverent. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Sure. Pretty please? I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. <coughs> Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. What? You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Yeah, sanatoriums are perfect. It's a perfect uh, horror setting. I think that's where Nightmare House 2 took place was a sanatorium. 
Uh, intelligent. Emily, Mike's ex. Resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been Mike as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean... <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Huh. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's Mike, a jerk. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> uh, shit. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel, and nature remained in balance. Oh man, so does it matter how I react then? Ugh. Yeah, you know. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but... Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. You need to go find Sorry. Sam? Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Sure, fine. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Really? You can't just go up there and smooch his cheek? Hmm. All right, well, is this going to be a uh, strawberry banana smoothie or a dead fish? Oh, freaking! I answered my question. Oh, oh. That is the worst flavor imaginable. <sighs> okay. Well, at least I got the worst one out of the way. Ashley has a crush on Chris. So what's going on here? Oh. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little 
friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Nothing else. Oh, damn fucking! Oh! <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jesus you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare oh you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm not really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? Uh, See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Nah, nah, he's got to know. He has got to know. Um, sure, uh, oh. go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh. <sighs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Uh, ever? I don't know. I... Uh, damn it. Matt. All right. So... Right, uh, check phone. Uh, so either old bandage or pomegranate. <laughs> oh, oh old bandage. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Great. Who pays? You know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Hey! Oh, snap! A birdie! Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Nah, I'm not gonna pelt the bird. Screw that. I will, however, pelt this motherfucking bird. Stands up to Mike, decide to trust Emily, and then she lies to him and goes sees it. Yeah, it's immediately undoing what he said earlier, right? So are we calling it my favor then? You're worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Eh, screw it. Ah! Ah! Oh ho ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait. Oh, such a charmer. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I, I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. They'd be cute if Mike was an asshat, yeah. Also, thanks for not hurting the animals. Why would I hurt the animals? They didn't do a damn thing to me. You're just there doing your own shit. 
how are we feeling? <laughs> In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are mm. dead mm. or undead. Mm. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now, pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Which image makes me the most anxious? All oh, men, by far. Uh, crowds. Oh, that's a tough one. Heights. Rats. Definitely rats. Guns. Guns are pretty scary. Oh, no. Rats. Rats more than roaches. Rats. Clowns. 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 Ooh. Uh, gore. Gore is pretty scary. Oh. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Um... We can have them as pets. I just don't care for them if they're like feral, you know? I happen to remember this one uh, quote-unquote scary movie called Rats where uh, they actually uh, go around the whole town and kill people. Oh, spiders. There you go. Now we're getting somewhere. Spiders. Ooh, uh, gore. Gore, 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 gore. Needles, not so much. Uh, clown still. Gore. I love doggies. Ooh, storms. I, mm -mm. me and storms do not get along. This is very interesting. Just eat all the spiders. Afraid. Once again, we're out of time, Bo. So today you've learned that I fear heights more than anything. Now you learn I fear heights. <clears throat> Drowning, not so much, but heights, who knows? Uh, who knows how well I can do with heights? Oh, this is episodic. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with you and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. Okay, so this is either going to be birthday cake or dirty dish water. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back. And next dirty dish water, of course. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? Feels the same to me. Hi, Josh. Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex. Thoughtful. Loving. Come on. You grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. 
When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. <laughs> hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. You doing all right? Hey, you doing all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know, like we always used to. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coach. <laughs> It's nice being back. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Oh man, the uh, fucking tension between these two. <laughs> Who plays Josh? Let me know. Huh? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Wait, what, what, was, what was he talking about just now? What was he talking about just now? Is he talking about Ashley or Jessica? God, I wish I could pay attention to this game a little more. Damn it! He was being crew to Ashley? Okay. Buttered popcorn. Uh, protest. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna bang her. Maybe. Oh, come the fuck on! Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. That's one way to put it. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Okay, but she's not an animal. You can put it in any other way, but she's not an animal. I mean, we're all technically animals, but... I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Hmm. Well, I can see of one obvious way of getting inside. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Agreed, she is not prey. Attention in climbing class. Um, 
<laughs> you mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Ooh. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Hey, here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. God speed. <laughs> what a very eccentric fellow this Josh is. Uh, so also the guy who plays Josh is Rami Malik, who played Freddie Mercury in the movie. Oh, really? I actually did enjoy that movie. That's very interesting. Well, you know, Queen is one of my all-time favorite uh, bands. Ooh, what's this? Another totem? Ooh. Yikes. That's not good. Okay, nothing around here. Just gonna have to go through here. So he said, spray on deodorant in the bathroom. Huh? Must be the entire family. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Hmm. Is that the door that we're supposed to open? Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. <laughs> Was that a broken window just now? Because when I heard some glass shatter. Huh. Okay, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to like this Josh fellow. With the way that you two are typing in chat right now, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to like this Josh fellow. Okay, another question. You as parents lost two of your daughters up here uh, the last time these bunch of teens are here. Would you allow them to... No, probably not. Am I even closer? God, this fucking cabin is huge. Ah, here we go. Now we're getting some. Maybe. I don't know. 
I can never tell with this game anymore. Ah, always follow the flickering light. <coughs> Damn! Getting too old for this shit! Fucking hell! It's not a bear, bear or a tiger. Oh, it's just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I used. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh, boy. Make yourself at home, bro. You'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Ah, uh, Warren. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Right. What's the fuck going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. <laughs> and then there's Emily. Oh my god, that is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? I... No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncall. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. you couldn't buy a multiple. Oh Jesus Christ! Yes. Are you serious? You think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. I can't tell if I'm making right decisions or not. Any place without that whore. I cannot tell if I'm making right decisions or not. Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get the fire going? 
Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Rodeo? Are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> You? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. You can get very warm. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's fair enough for Matt to find his girlfriend would be the right decision. Yeah, I would not be able to date a girl like Emily, to be 100% honest. I would not have the patience to date a girl like Emily. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, burr. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! Porn stars! Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Oh, why Matt and Emily are together and all is flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. I still have a few handful of bean boozled beans to eat, but. Thankfully, they're either a uh, booger or pear or berry and uh, toothpaste. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. Okay. Awkward. Very awkward. Whoops. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> oh my god. And I thought I was bad growing up. But you know, when I was when I was a teenager like this, I've always Burr, it is whatever crash I happen to have had. I've always been rejected, so I've always kept to myself most of the time. I wasn't... Oh, how, how would I describe myself from high school? I was not... I guess you could say popular. I was an outcast. That's a perfect word for it. I was an outcast in high school. Dumb as she looks, if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and. Jesus! Is that. What? No! Fuck! I mean. Wow! Uh, I mean. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. I'd flirt with you in a snowy cabin. Um. Yeah, I'm. We'll just, uh, for the sake of sticking with our partners here, sticking with our partners here for the sake of this uh, playthrough, we're gonna try to stick and agree with quote unquote girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever. Okay, okay, cool. So in this case, we're gonna agree. I think you bring out the worst in her. 
Is that so? Hello, Kiddish. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Josh did say that there was a generator. We should probably fire it up. You are fine. What's this? Another totem? Another totem? What's this? Hey Mike. What do we got? Ooh! Danger! Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Fuck. Ah, there's a generator. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Ooh. Well, that's a bugger if I've ever tasted one. Um. Yay. <coughs> also, better reminder that tonight only. Whatever the spinner lands on, it's gonna be time straight to beans. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. <laughs> um, so maybe. Alright. I know teenagers have their weird hormones or whatever is going on. And sex is the greatest fucking thing in the world. But I can tell you from experience that right now, sex isn't all what it's cracked up to be. Okay? Unless you are with your significant other or someone that you trust, you know, 100%. That's when sex can be a little bit more romantic. But if you are a teenager that's out for um, body counts, per se, you're doing it wrong. I'm just throwing this out there. Okay? Okay. Can we agree on that for a little bit? Let's agree on that for a little bit, okay? Close the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. I hope they're at peace. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy. We got a raid! Deviant lost mine ring for party of twelve. How are you doing? Can we get a shout out to um, Deviant Lost Mine? How are you doing? How was your stream? Okay, so welcome to the stream. Uh, to everyone that um, has joined in on the Blue Hat Dark 2010, I am a variety streamer currently holding Hollows Fest, uh, where I play through horror themed games while raising money for charity um, at the expense of eating bean booze. On now, since I'm not doing a hundred percent, the fiery five beans are still out of the picture for the time being because I'm still not hundred percent from my uh, throat thing. But tonight. Tonight is special because before I stream tonight, I'm at 660 sick to 60 sick. 666 followers. So for tonight and tonight only, whatever uh, trick or treat 
uh, trick or treat reward that you redeem, whatever beans on the wheel, it's going to be times three. It'll be times three only, only for tonight. And I also did six freebies on top uh, on top of it instead of the usual one that I do uh, before I start every stream. So right now we are at 251 tokens out of 300. If we happen to reach 300. I get to eat three more bugs on stream. And I know you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, considering my reaction for the tarantula consumption as well as the chocolate-covered scorpion as such. Uh, Loner Wolf redeemed a trick-or-treat. So, let's go on ahead and uh, spin the wheel. Like I said, the Fiery Five... <coughs> The Fiery Five Bean is still out of um, commission because my throat is not doing 100%. So, uh, if it lands on the Fiery Five, it's going to be Bean Boozle instead, okay? So, let me go ahead and pull a ball out. Two. Scada. Scada. Gotta spin the wheel twice. And on top of that, I owe $130 to charity. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we get. All right. So 254. Like I said, my throat is not doing 100%. So we are going to avoid the fiery five bean for tonight. Hopefully this changes by tomorrow. Because I am feeling a lot better than I was, but I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna test that tonight with the fiery five beans, okay? We're not gonna test that with the fiery five beans. So what what boss was uh the fucking worm throat boss was a bitch on hard mode? Wait, hold on. What game what game were you playing? Hold on. Dead Space! Oh the Oh yeah, you're cause you're currently going through Dead Space the first time, huh? I love that worm boss. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so is it going to be cappuccino or liver and onions? Tootie Fruity or Stinky Socks? I don't even know if I have any more of those beans. I don't think I do. Yeah, I think I have one. Uh, Tootie Fruity and Stinky Socks. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any more Tootie Fruities or Stinky Socks, so that's gonna be a respin. Peach or Barf? I'm gonna have to order some more beans, are you kidding me? Okay, well, um, let's spin the wheel one more time. Kept running out of ammo, so you do know that... The, t the biggest tip that the game gives you is to shoot the limbs, right? So, like, especially shoot at the orange fuck-me lights. <laughs> uh, so, 257. Yes, I have been eating a lot of beans. 257 of them, in fact. Because <laughs> we are now at 257 uh, tokens out of 300. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Keep that right there. Cappuccino or liver and onions. And lastly, <sighs> strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. All right. All righty. So with that out of the way, Let's continue our adventure with On Until Dawn. Now, where's my controller? Here it is. Whew. That's okay. This is my first playthrough going through Until Dawn, Deviant. So, um, this is exciting for the both of us. All right, let's get the worst one out of the way first. Is it going to be strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? Ooh, strawberry banana smoothie! Plus, what the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Damn. 
I don't think we can get her to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with Jess! Fuck! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! No spoilers, please, because this is... Huh. Because this is the first time I've gone... Th I'm, get I'm going through this game. Okay, so, and, you know, just to put this warning out right now. Or is it just spoiler? Or was it spoils? What? What? <laughs> what command did I give it? No spoils? This game contains heavy spoilers. If you are going to spoil anything from it, let this be your only warning right now. You will be banned. No exceptions. I've automatically banned a couple of people during my Heavy Rain playthrough. So, let this be your only warning. Fuck it, I'll jump down, I'll be heroic. All right, coming after you. Stay put. Hey handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Alright. Help me move it, help me move it. Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> Such a charmer, Mike. <coughs> <coughs> Have a good night, Twisted. Thank you for joining on in. Hopefully, you can catch this VOD. I will be releasing this VOD 24 hours from now. Fuck is that? Just a minecart, obviously, but Oh Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin, but what's this? Ooh, white! White! What's this? What the hell kind of fortune totem is this? Half naked woman. Jessica, perhaps? Thank you for the Lurk Deviant. Can we give uh, Deviant Lost Mind one more shout out? Definitely check that guy out if you have not yet. He's one of the many uh, strong supporters for his channel, so definitely check him out if you have not yet. What do we got here? Recent smoked cigar, huh? Whoa. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on now. <laughs> oh! You alright? Yeah. Close one. Well, we have no choice but to move forward. 
I can't go through there apparently. Danger, danger. Jesus. This place is a real fixer upper. Fun fact, uh the blue uh Hedgehog 2010 is one of the main reasons I even started streaming. Yep, yep. Indeed, he always fought, you know, every time I bring up my Let's Plays channel, he didn't think it was 100% stupid, but he thought that it would be a, a bit of a waste of time, you know? But when, when he started stream, when he saw my streams and Soga's streams, that's when he started picking up streaming for himself. And whether that's been good for him is still up in the air for debate. <laughs> Well, I know back when uh, Deviant was uh, back at Walmart, uh, he was just an assistant manager at that point, and uh, we, we we would always we would always get together to talk about what our plans are for our streams and stuff like that. And although we don't do that much anymore because he works in a total different uh, field area, and uh, I'm I'm still at Walmart, but you know. Okay. Uh, first off, you. I don't. F <laughs> when it comes to sex and role play, presidential does not immediately spring to mind. Okay. N no. Just no. No. Like, how sexy? How se <laughs> how sexy would you find this? It's just like, oh, if we get to close to that electoral college. Voting. Oh, I'm getting so close right now. Yes, how fucking attractive. It, that's not attractive at all. Okay, this is that's not attractive at all. The horniest diaper. <laughs> GG wants in on this. <laughs> all right. Liver and onions? Ew. I mean, it still tastes good, but... I just saw someone at the cabin. Wait, what's going on? What? Before I do that... Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Not... A greatest idea to hug a bear. Let's not hug a bear. Okay. Let me see. Gee, what the hell is that? Hold on. Again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, where the fuck? Okay, so. Well, damn, I guess I'll return that voting booth costume. <laughs> Hold on. LL, did he shoot him? No. Also, Deviant, I don't know if I said this already, but thank you for choosing me to raid. You didn't have to choose me to raid, but you did anyway, and I greatly appreciate it.
do. Glug, 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 Sick and tired of things jumping out at me. All these characters are walking boners. <laughs> Including the women. Including the women. They're walking boners too. God damn it, Josh. Then you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? Well, I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. Mike, you've got something on your face. Ah. Okay, okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Uh oh. Yes. Yes. That's not good. Treat the Gigi. Uh. Let me go ahead and get those bag of treats for Gigi real quick. Come on. Alright, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Alright. I will be right back real quick. Gigi, I gotta get you some treats, so um You're not gonna like what I'm about to do, okay? Come on. Oh, you're going to be the big streamer, boing? So, I have to keep the cat treats. Can I have my spot back? Huh? Can I have my spot back? All right, so <clears throat> all right, so I have to keep the cat treats in the in the closet because look at this bag. <laughs> he likes to get into his treats, obviously. Yeah, you want a treat? Such a good. All right, so let's resume. A big treat menace. Hmm. So what am I doing here? You know, I forget that I can press L1 to walk faster. And trust me, mid poop. I gave I gave Gigi some lovin, so your uh, pet the Gigi's did count for something. Have a 
spirit board. A what? Wow, you're the spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Wait, are you saying we should have a seance? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, Hush. me and... Well, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? All right. Let's go with Josh here. I've never been to an actual cabin before. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> A uh, picture. Josh with his lovely sisters Hannah and Beth looking great guys. 2013, huh? Hmm. How old is this game anyway? You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone is making it seem uneasy. But let's reassure him. Let's reassure him that we are here for him. Whenever, we're all going to make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little set of stairs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to back that mic off. Give it a little space, you know? Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Oh, hey, baseball bat. Hmm. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't. In the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Just shine here so I can see what I'm doing. 
that can't be good. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can I didn't even move that time. Sorry. First things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler <coughs> fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. So is this going to be peach or barf? Concerned. Let's check it out. Maybe we should go check it out. Why? I don't know. What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mother! Did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for now, okay? I'd see a hot <laughs> Fucking shit. Right? Fucking Chris. Oh, but watch out for that Josh. He's a piece of shit. Alright. 
buttered popcorn or rotten. Oh! Another, um... Ooh. That's not unsettling at all. I would like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Why the fuck do you have a tarantula? Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game. How is it? The fuck are you on about? I. Uh... Loyalty, loyalty. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to No, the that's not the fuck I said. And what about loyalty versus charity? Uh, uh. uh fuck. Uh I uh <laughs> Are you loyalty? So you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in That's not people. what I fucking said. Well, again, I'm afraid we're out of time. <coughs> we'll talk again soon. The hell? The fucking hell? Juicy pear. one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedies of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say uh, something? Oh, did you Stop. not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way uh, ticket to the spirit realm. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, if that's how it's gonna be. Okay, toothpaste. <laughs> Josh! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Okay, we'll go through this one more section Ask before calling it quits, okay? Convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Is anyone there? Um, is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself to us if you're there? <laughs> Wait a minute, did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Oh, shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? 
We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Who needs help? Who are you? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's... It's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Kinda. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Was that you? Oh, oh God. <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. I, Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh? I can handle it. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me think. Apologize. Hannah, if you can hear this, like, really hear this, we all want to apologize for what happened. It, it was stupid and, and mean, uh, and we're sorry. We're so sorry, Hannah. B? E? Uh. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K I L L E D. No. Kill. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. A Ash, calm, calm down. Okay? Just, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Who killed you? Okay. Who killed you? Hannah, who was it? L. L. I. I. B. B. The library. Maybe there's a library here. P. R. O. O. Fucking shit. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, Josh, no. but this is not cool. Josh, no. You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, man. I'm, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. If, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Jesus. Jess. Jess. Fuck nuggets. Hey! We have the same vocabulary, it seems. Doesn't mean I like you, though. content oh meet the cast cool um So I'm missing a piece of the butterfly effect. <laughs> I am the one and only fuck nugget. 
But I don't know if we're going to be able to get this other half of the butterfly effect or not, if it's too late. Oh, I definitely missed a couple of clues, that's for sure. But it's not like... <laughs> It's not like um, this is a 100% playthrough. Buttons. All right. You know what? I still have a few more beans to ingest. So we're going to push forward. We're going to push forward a little bit with the story, okay? Because I'm actually getting quite interested with this game. I'm getting quite interested with this game, okay? So let's finish whatever beans I have and continue on with the story. Buddy, why would you call her buddy? Ooh. Don't! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Christ! I scared the blue out of my jeans. What the hell is that doing in there anyway? Can we stop with the jump scares, please? Jessica, oh, come on. Jess? No! <laughs> Such a cute little lady like Scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Uh oh. You're strapped in. The predator is among us. Are we mean to play this game multiple times? Because we're missing quite a handful of totems. You know, they say there's non, there's, these beans are non-alcoholic, the cocktail classics, by, but by God, you can taste a hint of alcohol in there.
Ooh, caribou. Gas mask. <laughs> right, a long ass way to the guest cabin. Check out the sweet mask. Well, better than scaring her, I suppose. Even though she scared us a couple of times. Now I just want to keep looking at these statuses and updates and... Sam found a baseball bat and left it in the cellar. Yeah, was there anything else I needed to come by? Nope, just that mask, really? Okay. Whatever. Hmm. Can we not? Fuck me. Had to slap mid poop because he scared the shit out of you. <laughs> How he scared the shit out of you. Uh oh. Soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be soon. <laughs> Fucking Christ, what the hell was that? Uh 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 follow path? Jessica, help Jessica. I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? 
Yeah, you gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure... Barry Actually, you'd be quite surprised. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay, well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Uh, this is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit dry out here some tonight. Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael. I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. <sighs> okay. Um, so, butterfly, uh, butterfly effect update. Oh. Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. Mike continued to impress Jessica. Okay, so these things update <clears throat> along as we go along in the game. So that's cool. Um Breaker box? Nice. This'll lighten up the mood a little. Turn it on. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hey, what are you okay? What are you doing? It's it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. It's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Okay, so uh, now we just got to figure out the fireplace. This. Anna? Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto. Woman's got more impatience than any other person I know so far in this game. Kama Sutra. You're lighting a fire, Michael, not writing a novel. How much longer is it going to take you? Oh, hell yeah. These guys were inventive. Um... Okay, so I don't know if I can just just turn on the fireplace or what. It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to you. your flag pole. Right. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Don't have a match. Unless there's one on the table. On. Shit. Fuck. Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes. Slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Did you find it? Oh, crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think.
fine. Batches, there we go. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Maybe just a little bit. Such a charmer this guy though is. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think. Well, I I wish we had <laughs> some booze. Booze. Uh, uh. Well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm kind of just I'm not feeling it yet. Sure. Maybe we just need to jump into it, you know, like jumping into a swimming pool. What? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Seriously? Did you think that would work? Always has before. Dick brain. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, but I chose the other option. Did I? Did I accidentally choose that option? I wasn't paying attention. What the fuck? I don't like it. Yeah, really. It's fine. I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. Status update. Of course, there's always a status update. All right, let's go on ahead and whoops. No. Come on, we go. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I am really kind of insecure. <laughs> Sure. Jess, you've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure, I do. It's just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yes, I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle oh you. Oh boy. I am definitely ready to be handled. Yeah, yeah, you can always say no to sex. Oh boy. Even the predator wants in on that action. Oh 
Oh, are they actually gonna... the fuck am I getting myself into? Does it get the smashing sound from the bedroom? This is new? Have all your characters died in your playthrough, kiddish? Is that what you're trying to tell us in chat? Oh, hey, look, it's, uh... Cell phone is. Oh, it's your phone. What? Oh, how is it my phone? I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, fuck's sake! God damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us, and just when we were getting down to business. Jesus Christ. So much for that sex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but. You think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? That's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. Oh! <laughs> That's what buttons are for. I mean, yeah. God. <laughs> this is why we don't have sex before marriage, kids. That explodes. Are we like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? After you. No, 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 no. You go. Gee, thanks. I'll take a look after I uh, take a look around here. I don't know if there's anything over here or not. <laughs> That's not creepy. Portrait photo. Whoa. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? Ooh. I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. Holy cow. I mean... What what do I do in this situation? Do I be honest or do I be protective? Uh fuck. Um 
We gotta be honest, right? Now, now Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look uh, at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Okay. Oh, that's that's not convenient at all. Uh, what was that? Uh Someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Locked, of course. We obviously don't want to go out there anyway, right? So, um, I've just been thinking about something I said earlier with Sam. What? There was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. <laughs> Come the fuck on. You got anything to say? For Sam, I definitely prefer Matt over Emily. Oh, this is a hard choice, but if I got you, Chris. Jessica, if I had to choose. Oh, I prefer Josh more than Emily. <laughs> oh, definitely, Ashley. Tell me. 
shame you're playing so diligently. Who is it that you lost his life? Uh, I dislike Emily. A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often a lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like... What the hell are you talking about? I am so confused with this man right now. What the fuck? <sighs> All right, cool. Hold on. Hold on. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was... It'll make sense later. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's... it's gotta be... Which sister is it then? Oh my god! Josh! Maybe I know how to handle you too. Brutal. Very, very brutal. All right, we're in chapter four, I guess. Okay, quick time event, I guess. Fuck, risk shortcut. Jessica. Jump down. We're going to jump down. Jump, 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 jump. Let's just make a jump for it. Risk slide down. Come on, let's go. Alright. 
Please tell me this game auto saves. Please tell me this game auto saves because I need to wrap things up right now. <laughs> um. Okay. Jessica resisted Mike's advances. the only update nope there's it's not t exactly telling me that there is a main menu or exit or quit game or whatever so does this game autosave? Like, does this game autosave? I, I, um. Status and collectibles. All right, hold on. Does until dawn auto save? It saves after choice, apparently, so I have to wait until the next choice. Or, or am I? Is, is it already saved? How does saving loading work? I played for about four hours last night. Yep, yeah, about same here. I was ready to stop. I saw nothing in any menu uh, relay to save or loading. I just had to hold down the PS button and select close application. This game has a really strict save system where it literally all saves after every single choice you make, so you're fine. They just made it to where you can't manual save at all because they want your choices to be permanent no matter what. The next time you get on the game, you'll be presented with what looks like the normal pause screen with these choices. Simply hit resume and you're fine. All right. So let's test that fury. Ooh, I got I gotta charge up this controller. Let me test this fury real quick. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and wrap things up here because I'm I'm obviously going to be wrapping things up here. So. Uh, if you guys have not joined a Discord yet, feel free to join a Discord. I do updates on there in terms of scheduling, whether I'm going to be streaming or not, or if I'm uh, going to be holding another event such as this. And I also do support streamers, both big and small. So if you happen to be a streamer, whether it be on here, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, it don't matter. Show us what you can do, and we will... Gladly, oh. Okay. Hold on. So, Hold on. There is one individual we're considering. wait, so I have to play through all that again? Interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pine. Well, anyway, so, um, show us what you can do and we'll glad to support you along the way. Can we also get another one final shout out for Deviant Lost Mind before we end things here? Uh, tomorrow, we will continue through with Until Dawn. So, uh, we will continue things onward with Until Dawn tomorrow. Um, I don't know how many chapters this game got or has, but we've seriously been on here for a little over three hours, so we've gotten through a big chunk of the game already and remember that after until dawn no matter what ending i get oh, okay so it saves right here all right so <laughs> good to know good to know good to know all right so anyway um but um so after until dawn uh we will be doing a a session of Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Uh, since we have reached the 
a hundred token threshold. And speaking of, we have reached uh, 257 tokens over uh, 300. And again, if we happen to reach 300, I will be eating three more bugs here on stream. So, we can make that happen? We can make that happen. Cool. Uh, and also, thank you uh, for participating in tonight's uh, 666 event, where, uh, you know, only for tonight only, I'll be drawing three beans to eat. I ate a fuck ton of beans. <laughs> I And I mean, I ate a fuck ton of beans. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so nothing more to say to that than uh, thank you all for tuning on, and I hope that you guys enjoy tonight's stream. Uh, we are going to be raiding someone, so if you are a subscriber, you're copying the first raid message. If you're a non-subscriber, you're copying the second raid message. If you guys stick around for the raid, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's see who's all online. Can push this amount of love too. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, let's go on ahead and raid Mr. Meaner, who happens to be going through some Doom 2 Hell on Earth, probably playing some more mods as we speak. Um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so he, con so he has his conquered Doom. So basically he covers all sorts of Doom mods. He's basically a Doom player. He plays through... Uh, all the wads of uh, any Doom game, you know, whatever. He's, he's, he's a professional Doom player, so to speak. So, uh, let's go ahead and push a level over to him. And tomorrow we will continue through some more Until Dawn. Uh, let me make sure that I actually type that in correctly. Let's raid Mr. Meaner underscore. Is that correct? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so. Whew, tomorrow, some more Until Dawn. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at around uh, 12 a.m. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying Until Dawn, because uh, I know I am, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun going through a bit more of it next time. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bluehead Dark 2010. Thank you all for tuning on in, and as always, happy gaming, friends. Mm -hmm.